Notice what was just uncovered in an interview with the Pope. It says, Pope Francis's favored Italian interviewer, Eugenio Scalfari, is now claiming that the Pope told him that Jesus did not have a bodily resurrection after his passion and death on the cross, but that the man disappeared and he came forth from the tomb in the semblance of a spirit. And by the way, he didn't offer any Bible verses whatsoever to back that up because there are none. But keep in mind, this is the same Pope that said Jesus failed in October of 2015. The very next month, this same Pope also said the cross of Christ and God himself were a failure in November of 2015. Then he said Satan is much stronger than Jesus in 2017. And so now this Jesuit Pope is saying Jesus never came out of the tomb in the same manner all Christians will arise on that great and dreadful day when Jesus returns. And so why do you suppose the Pope would say Jesus didn't resurrect? Well, for the same reason the Vatican teaches that Jesus Christ did not come in the flesh in the first place. That is one major definition of Antichrist that I have listed with many others on my Characteristics of Antichrist page. The Jesus that the Vatican preaches is another Jesus, just as prophecy also predicted they would do. Vatican dogma states that all people on earth have what they call original sin from Adam in their flesh or our flesh, you know, when we're born. But their dogma, their Catholic dogma says Jesus Christ had no original sin in his flesh. And so as prophesied, they are declaring that Jesus Christ did not come in the same flesh that you and I have because he has no original sin and they say we do even though there's no Bible verses to back that up. And so as 1 John 4 verse 3 confirms, that means they are antichrist. And so this is why the Pope is also declaring Jesus didn't resurrect in a bodily form like his followers will at his second coming. For the Pope to say Jesus never arose in bodily form is to remove all hope for the Bible-believing Christian. And so this too exposes the Pope as the man of sin as well, for it is also penned in 1 Corinthians 15, verses 13 and 14, that if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen? And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain, and your faith is also vain. And for those of us that have met Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, we know very well how our faith is not vain at all. Besides our joy of salvation, all the answered prayers, and the amazing and miraculous blessing of peace in the hearts of his people, even in intense trial? I mean, look around and see how every single prophecy that has ever been uttered regarding these last days have been fulfilled to the letter, with the exception of a very small number left to go, of which 100% of them can be clearly seen by the obedient remnant people of God as having their long prophesied foundations for fulfillment already set in stone. We already know how they're going to do those things. It's it's a done deal now. And so now we know the Pope is lying. The Pope said what he did to that atheist that day to further push his long prophesied ecumenical love fest into the heart of that non-believing atheist, which also pleases all those that hate Jesus Christ all around the world and all those non-Christian religions. Satan needs to get every soul on earth to stand in his camp so that he can have his bloodthirsty troops ready, willing, and able to do as he commands at Armageddon. This is why the Pope has stated to his flock that they must stop evangelizing the Jews towards Christ, they must call all the Muslims their brothers and sisters, and all atheists will be in heaven. But do not worry about that great and dreadful day. It is great for the Christian because our Lord is coming. And it is dreadful for the lost because our Lord is coming. For not only are we promised not to be tempted above our ability to overcome in 1 Corinthians 10, 13, we are also promised in Isaiah 54, 17 that no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. And now there's one last thing I want to add. The Pope said that Jesus arose as a spirit or a ghost in that interview, right? But the Lord Jesus himself said this after resurrecting. He said in Luke chapter 24, verse 39, Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit hath not flesh and bones as ye see me have. 
But because most people don't read their Bibles, they trust whatever their so-called religious leaders say, regardless of the fact that their very own Bibles expose their leaders to be the long prophesied wolves in sheep's clothing. Thank you for watching. God bless.